Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. Just when you think you know everything that needs to be known about an animal, here we come with a video like this. Today, we'll be talking about some amazing things you didn't know that animals can do. Number 10. Growling Ghost Crabs Crabs may be able to intimidate other creatures with their claws, but if that's not enough, ghost crabs will growl at their enemies like a dog. However, unlike our canine friends, ghost crabs growl when threatened by grinding the teeth inside their stomach against each other. While many crustaceans have teeth in their stomachs for grinding up food, the ghost crab is the first to use them to make sounds for communication as well. It has long been known that crabs make sounds to deter intruders by flexing their claws, which makes ridges near the joint rub against each other. But when another animal gets too close, the crabs hold their claws upright in a position that prevents them from making these sounds. However, scientists observe that ghost crabs continue to make sounds even while their claws are in their upright position, which immediately prompted researchers to investigate further. So, they took a box of ghost crabs to an x-ray department at a hospital so they could see what was happening inside them as they growled in response to various threats. The x-ray fluoroscopy videos revealed that the rasping sounds coincided with the movement of the teeth in their foreguts, known as gastric mills, and that the teeth were not grinding up food at the time. Number 9. The World's Fastest Punch the owner of the most impressive punch in the world is the tiny mantis shrimp. They possess the fastest punch in the world, traveling at about 50 miles per hour. When a mantis shrimp punches, its little fist of fury, which of course isn't a fist at all, is accelerating faster than a 22 caliber bullet. That's around 23 meters per second. National Geographic shared the tale of one such small smasher, explaining that in April 1998, an aggressive creature named Tyson smashed through the quarter-inch thick glass wall of its cell. He was soon subdued by nervous attendance and moved to a more secure facility in Great Yarmouth. Unlike his heavyweight namesake, Tyson was only 4 inches long. But scientists have recently found that Tyson, like all his skin, can throw one of the fastest and most powerful punches in nature. Number 8. Zebra Cows Despite what it looks like, these aren't the result of crossbreeding cows and zebras. That will be impossible to do. The black stripes on these cows are actually just painted on. But to what purpose? Well, exactly the same purpose of zebra stripes in the wild, to confuse flies. I know, that sounds oddly specific, but hear me out. There are many theories as to what is the purpose of those stripes, from thermoregulation to camouflage. However, there is little evidence supporting these theories except for one, which is being a natural insect repellent. So when farmers heard of this study, they painted their cows with stripes as well and had amazing results. But how does this work? IFL Science suggests that this might work because the stripes may cause a kind of motion camouflage targeted at the insect's vision, confusing them much in a way that optical illusions confuse us. Number 7. Glow-in-the-dark shark Researchers were surveying the eastern Gulf of Mexico to study what sperm whales eat when they collected a large sample of animals from the ocean's depths. Among the collection was a small shark that the team hadn't seen before. As it turned out, the animal was a previously undescribed species of pocket shark, named not for its small size, but because of small pocket-like openings or glands found behind each of the pectoral fin. It's only the second species of pocket shark in the world. What's surprising about this shark is that it has numerous light-producing organs or photophores covering much of the body, which possibly helps the shark glow in the dark depths of the deep sea. Number 6. Bubble Net did you know that whales use nets to catch fish? But not nets as you traditionally know them. Instead, they use air bubbles. I know, it's quite hard to believe. But just take a look at these guys in action. In this incredibly rare footage, you'll see these huge animals dive down and swim in a ring around their prey, blowing out bubbles as they go. The rising ring forms a column that traps fish, allowing other whales in the group to swim up from below, mouths agape, through the bubble cylinder to feast. What's even even more fascinating about bubble net feeding is that it seems to be a learned behavior. Not all humpback whales hunt this way, and those that do can have varying techniques. It's also cooperative, with the whales working together to make sure everyone gets fed. Number 5. Otter Smash 
Sea otters are an especially captivating marine mammal, well known for their use of rocks to break open shells. They often use rocks to crack open shells while floating on their back, and also sometimes use stationary rocks along the shoreline as anvils to crack open mollusks, particularly mussels. The otters would dive for mussels, return to the surface hugging a clump of them in their chests, and open each one with their teeth or the stones. They could go through 25 to 75 mussels per hour, depending on how many otters were present. The otters would float upright in the water, hold up a muscle, and strike it down against the stone. After enough strikes to weaken it, the otters would use their teeth to open the shell. Then the otter would float on its back and enjoy its hard-won food. Number 4. Frogsicles the wood frog embraces cold weather and ensures survival by freezing up to 70% of its body, including the brain and the lens of the eye. Its heart completely stops, as do its muscles and breathing movements. When spring rolls around, the frog's hard body simply thaws out and reverts back to normal. This cycle is repeated over and over again each winter. Still don't believe me? Well, check out this time-lapse video of a frog thawing back to life. According to scientists, wood frogs possess nucleating proteins, which sucks the majority of the water out of the frog cells. At the same time, the frog's liver creates glucose, which fills its cells and operates as a thick sugary syrup to keep them from freezing solid. Water returns back into the frog cells once their bodies warm up again. Number 3. Frozen Gators and speaking of animals able to survive being frozen, check these gators out. They might look like they're dead with their snouts sticking out of the ice like that. But believe me when I tell you, they are perfectly alive and well. Back in January of 2019, North Carolina experienced record low temperatures. So much so that even ponds and lakes were frozen over. People at Swamp Park and Ocean Isle Beach were understandably worried about the 18 American alligators that they keep in the park. So they checked them out and they were pleasantly surprised with what they saw. All 18 alligators were definitely under the ice, with just their snouts poking out of the ice. Remarkably, all of them were alive. Apparently, when the water or air temperatures dip too low for them to be active, the cold-blooded reptiles go into a state of brumation, which is a hibernation-like state for reptiles. As soon as the ice thawed, the gators went about their business like nothing happened. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's pick is a photo of someone tickling a clearly delighted baby shark. While it's easy to see that this photo is just a product of someone with amazing photo editing skills, some real-life sharks actually like being tickled. Need to see for yourself? Stay tuned! Number 2. Shark Hypnosis Okay, it's not really swinging a pendulum in front of a shark and having it do anything that you want it to do, but close. The phenomenon is called tonic immobility, which is a reflex that causes a temporary state of inactivity in an animal. It looks very similar to someone under hypnosis. This trance-like state can occur naturally. It can also be induced in sharks and rays by stimulating the tiny sensory pores located on their snouts, like in this video. Normally, it would be a bad idea to keep your hands that close to a shark's mouth. But with a bit of tickling, the shark becomes placid and immobile. The diver in the video was even able to make a shark do a headstand or a snout stand. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So, here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. Spineless Houdini Octopuses are smart very smart, at least smart enough to escape from their tanks. In fact, back in 2016, an octopus at New Zealand's National Aquarium made a break for freedom by slipping out of its tank, slithering down a drain pipe, and escaping into the ocean. They named the octopus Inky as one would, and he managed to escape his enclosure through a small opening. He slid across the floor during the night and squeezed his body through a narrow pipe leading to open waters. This isn't an isolated case either, as a lot of octopuses have escaped from captivity in seemingly impossible situations. To prove this, check this video out. In it, we have an octopus sealed inside a jar with a twist-on lid. The animal was smart enough and strong enough to twist the lid from the inside, opening it, and escape 
escape the confined space. If the octopus isn't the animal equivalent of Harry Houdini, then I don't know what is. Which of these animal moments amazed you the most? Let us know down in the comments, will you? Also make sure to hit subscribe as well as the notification bell to keep updated every time we upload new and amazing content just like this. Again, thanks for watching and see you on the next video.